All right, welcome to part two of F R U F prime or F two gen F prime. Now this is going to be for cases where both edges are in the U layer. Now these are the cases where I think F two gen F prime isn't necessarily the future. I think when the corners are stuck, especially like you know diagonal stuff like this, I think it could be potentially. Um, at the very least, I think it could be like a better overall holistic approach, a better one size fits all so to speak. Um, but yeah, this parts two and part three in the series are where like, I'm basically showing what's possible, but I don't necessarily think it's like the future per se. Parts one and part four, I think there's, a, that's where the most potential lies, I think. Anyways, with that said, so these cases, it's when we have both edges in the U-layer, and the important thing to note is that we're going to be talking about cases where the colors that are on the U-layer are opposites. So green is opposite to blue, Green center, blue center, you should have that curl scheme. If you don't, you should know what I'm talking about anyways. Um, and then there's two cases like this. So this is the one where you can solve both pairs two gen, um, which is another reason why I don't think it's necessarily that great. And then we have this version of the case as well. So again, opposite colors, red is opposite to orange, red, orange, curl schemes and shit. Um, and in this case, you would have to rotate, but it's only one rotation, and then you can solve, you know, two pairs rotationless. But with that said, let's talk about how we would do these with F, R, U, F prime. So for this case, where we have edges oriented per, you know, ZZ law, um, B, R is already oriented, so that's good, but this one is oriented, which is not good. F, L being oriented is not good, so we want to flip it. So we always have to start from this angle. And that's one important thing to note about the cases with the opposite colors on top like that. Um, you have to start from a fixed angle every time, so that's another thing that kind of bums me out, but hey, it can work maybe. So anyways, start from here, do an F, solve BR, something like that. Um, I could insert it normally, but I don't like having yellow on top. I think I would rather insert it like that. And then we can get to a free built pair a lot quicker and then do F prime like so. I definitely sped through that, but remember guys, you can slow down videos, you can do times 1.25, times 0.75. You can watch a video more than once to get a concept. Uh, anyways, now for this one, so this is where you would have to rotate. Um, in this case, the BR edge isn't oriented, but the FL edge is also not oriented, but that's good. <laughs> so we wanna flip the BR edge and the thing that's kind of annoying about having to flip the BR edge is that it puts it in this position, which generally leads to worse F-door cases. Here we get a little bit lucky. This is probably the best case we could have hoped for. Um, but again, that's like a little bit of a trade-off there, like rotating versus potentially having a kind of ugly BR case. But anyways, F and then solve this pair, standard stuff. And then we do this pair here, something like that. And that gives us a pretty good finish. That's it for part two. Stay tuned for part three, which I'll film right now.